Hi, I'm Peter Inslee. I'm from Baltimore originally. Uh, I lived in, sorry, is it correct? No? Oh, how about now? Now? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Peter Inslee. Uh, I'm from Baltimore originally. Uh, I lived in New York for 12 years. Uh, I got a BA in physics and a PhD in biology there. Uh, and I moved uh, a year ago uh, to an apartment on Rossmore Street uh, in the Union Square area. Uh, I work as a programmer here. Uh, in terms of politics generally, I'm what people now call a, so a democratic socialist or social democrat. Uh, I'm passionately interested in questions of class and also what people call intersectional issues of uh, race, sexuality, gender, etc. Uh, and that is very much the political stance and alignment that I'd bring to the Union Square Neighborhood Council if you elected me. I haven't lived in this neighborhood long, but I really like it here. Uh, my partner and I moved here uh, because it was more diverse than many areas of Boston. Um, we like that there's a Korean grocery store, Brazilian grocery store, Greek social club, et cetera. Uh, also because it's an obviously mixed income neighborhood uh, with a real neighborhood feel to it, with houses and yards, public areas, festivals and Union Square on Saturdays. Uh, and it reminded me in many ways of a quieter neighborhood in New York, let's say, not the houses so much as the, the mixedness. Um, it was also very important to us personally that the cost of living here was much lower than in many other areas of near Boston, Cambridge and, and Boston. So that's who I am. Uh, I wanna say a few words about the current situation here. Um, I'm very concerned that one side effect of the massive new development in Union Square will be to destroy the feeling and the culture of the neighborhood entirely. Uh, if you look at a map of the proposed development, you'll see that about half of Union Square is going to be annihilated. Um, I'm very curious to know how many of these proposed jobs are going to go to existing residents. Um, I want to know what exactly is the benefit for people living locally in Union Square of all these new jobs. You know, I say this as a life scientist. Uh, you know, many of these jobs in these offices are going to be specifically for life sciences. Uh, how, those are not going to go to the poorer residents of Somerville. You know, who are those jobs for? Um, so uh, I, I don't know if it's too late to get rid of this development, but I'd like to be able to tone it down if possible and certainly make sure that as many of the benefits as possible go to existing Union Square residents, particularly the poorer residents who've been left behind by the last 10 or 20 years of gentrification in this area. Uh, that means an increasing the number of affordable housing units that are being offered from the 200 to a higher, more reasonable percentage of the actual housing maybe 500, 600 would be nice, uh, out of the 1,000 that they're planning to build. Okay, yeah, I should go. <laughs> uh, and I also just wanna make sure that new construction is not basically one giant parking garage. Anyway, uh, thank you guys.